South Dakota's primary election day is almost here, and voters still may have questions about how to make the process go smoothly. As we look ahead to Tuesday, Kel Lanzarone Ortiz today spoke to poll workers about commonly asked questions they hear. First Lutheran Church in Central Sioux Falls is just one of the many spots where voters can cast their ballot on Tuesday. Adam Jorgensen will be there as a volunteer poll worker. Be prepared before you go to the ballot box so then you're ready to go when you get there. Tracy Holm is also a poll worker. Both tell me they hear an array of questions. When people come in, most people want to know if they're in the right location. City of Sioux Falls has a great website for that. Um, the South Dakota Secretary of State is a great resource as well. Um, so calling your county auditor is something that I do pretty often if I have a question. Poll workers will be able to assist if you are in the wrong place. I can easily look somebody up and tell them if they're in the right location, if they're not. And if they're not on our role, which means they're not in our location, then we can... We, I basically have the supervisor called downtown to find out where they're supposed to be. Voters must show proof of identification, which can be a South Dakota driver's license or a photo ID. You have to make sure that your address is correct. You know, we want to make sure that you're a registered voter. So if you're voting in South Dakota without an ID, you can sign a personal identification affidavit, um, and then it's confirmed with the Secretary of State after all that. The polls will be open from 7 in the morning until 7 at night, local time, on Tuesday. Um, you can get a sample ballot online so you can see exactly what's on there um, before you go. And some people even print those out ahead of time so they can look it over before they leave. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Holman Jorgensen also stressed the importance of volunteering to be a poll worker. To find more information, you can call your county auditor's office to begin the process of becoming one.